Spring is here along the coast, and with that comes the return of seasonal allergies. I know my nose has been running. I don't know about you, Charlie. Oh, my eyes. Yeah, the eyes too. Eye drops every day. Our meteorologist Alex Seymour looked into how our allergy season is growing as our planet warms. White flowers bloom along a branch of a Yoshino cherry in Milton Memorial Park. Next to it, a Bradford pear is in full bloom. These are the obvious signs of spring. But if you look a little closer, these aren't the only trees in bloom. Red maples have already opened up, painting the shorelines of the Broad Kill River. Eastern red cedars are showing their first signs of life as small flowers dot the branches, which will eventually turn to the blue berries that juniper trees are known for. The least obvious trees are the ones that are causing problems for allergy sufferers due to how they are pollinated. They're not pollinated by insects. They have to be wind pollinated. And because wind pollination is literally hit or miss, they have to put out copious amounts of pollen in order to get reproduction. As you can see on this map, our growing seasons are becoming longer across the country. The warming climate due to rising levels of greenhouse gases is extending the growing season and actually producing more pollen, worsening allergies. This extension to the growing season isn't just happening in the spring. This uh, change in earlier springs is also happening at the end of the season. That is, we're getting the first frost is happening later and later in the year. For people living with allergies who are just trying to enjoy some of the beautiful spring days, this means they suffer for longer. It seems earlier and earlier each year, but we put up with it. Unfortunately for allergy sufferers like myself, as the climate continues to warm, these allergy seasons are going to start earlier and last longer and longer. I'm meteorologist Alex Seymour in Milton, Coast TV News.